You're on mute. Yes, sorry. Hello, everyone. And now this is the room where you are going to be groomed and learn. This welcome to the speech craft. Now you must be wondering what is this speech craft and all. You don't have to craft so many speeches as the name says. So don't get, don't be scared at all. It is just what we speak in our daily basis, what we do in our daily uh, every day that we share with, like we can converse with others we are going to do over here. But most of the time we are scared, we don't we get uh, nervous or like, you know, we get stuck. To overcome all these things, we are here to learn so that we can overcome our public speaking fear. This is a kind of short, you can say a crash course of Toastmasters, where you will get a taste how Toastmasters worked. Don't be scared. This is nothing to be scared. Like you have a teacher in school who teaches you, who guides you for each and everything. Like you should go this, you should do this and how you can improve and where you can improve. In the same way, speech crafter, speech craft is designed in such a way that we won't say a teacher, but we, you will get a trainer. You all will have a trainer who, who will be guiding you throughout the six days in your journey wherever you get stuck or you feel shy or you are hesitant that trainer will help you to overcome that fear and now to tell you about who will be your trainer just uh, i will be in just one minute okay okay For every one, there is a trainer who will be guiding and, okay, now for Ramiz and uh, Kumar Raja. Okay. Faria will be the trainer for you. Faria is the trainer for, I will just, okay, she is wearing and she is raising her hand. You can see. That's me. Hi, hi, Ramiz. Hi. Yes, yes, Kumar yes. Raja. Yeah, hi, okay, Kumar Raja. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay, so she will be the trainer for you. She will be guiding you in your journey. And then for Numa and Tanvir, it's Faiza, ma'am. Faiza, ma'am? Mm -hmm. uh, Numa, she just opened her uh, video. Numa and Tanvir. Tanvir, you can see Faiza, ma'am? AF3. She will be your trainer. Okay. 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 And then for Arif and uh, Mr. Uh, S. Tariq and uh, Farzana is Farisa. Farisa, now you all can say hi, hello. Okay. okay. See, hi, hello is very important. Without hi, hello, we cannot uh, move ahead. We will keep for sick. Otherwise, we'll get, we will be shy and uh, we won't say hi, hello to each other and six days we'll get over. So keep talking, Tariq, keep talking. Tariq is a little bit shy with me. So tell him to say hi. Say hi. <laughs> say H-I-Hi. Hi. Hi. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Okay, the three names you mentioned is Tariq, Farzana, and who's the third person? Tariq uh, is still. Sorry? Tariq, Tariq, Farzana, and Arif. Okay, Arif. Okay, All right. okay so I think Tariq has some technical issues. Tariq has some technical issues, so we will uh, move on to the next uh, one. Um, next is uh, Sakina. Sakina, uh, 
Sakina has uh, Said Afreen and Tala, but they haven't joined today. Okay, and Rilwan has Rilwan has uh, Simi Matthew. The other one haven't uh, joined today, so hopefully they will join tomorrow. Hello, Simi. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm yeah, fine, thank you. I see okay. you are. So with this, with this, with this, we are uh, there with uh, done with the introduction of the mentors. Everyone knows now. Everyone knows who is the mentor, right? For whom? Right? Yeah. Everyone knows. Yes. yes. Great. Great. Yes. Now moving on to the next segment. I cannot. Hello, Amit. Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm facing See, net issue. Well. No problem. I... You want to switch off your video? Yeah, I better I can switch off my video. Okay, just one minute. Okay, I cannot uh, see Amrit in my room because next segment is for Amrit. I cannot see Amrit. So can we do Alina's uh, thing first? Till that time Amrit can join. Ali, is it okay Zainab ma'am? Yes, let's uh, utilize our time. If Alina okay. is okay. Alina, are you okay? So, yes, yes, sure. Uh, uh, now let me. Uh, uh, before, before that, I don't have the co-host. Uh, I'm not a co-host, so can someone share the questionnaire? If you have it, I'll put it in the okay. chat. I'll add it to this. Yeah, you can continue. I just wanted to ask. <laughs> yeah, where means you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, before we um, uh, move on to our next uh, segment, let me welcome a very passionate Toastmaster, Toast Alina, who is very bubbly. Don't go on her face. You, she must be looking. She is just a kid that you have seen over there. She is just a kid. She has a small brother and the same way she is small. She is a bubbly person who keeps the environment alive wherever she goes. So with this, our first speaker, Toastmaster Alina, please welcome her. Thank you, Toastmaster Vermeet. I'm going to try to be as serious as I can since you gave, gave away my... No, my... Indeed. everyone has to smile. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Let me start with my questionnaire. I hope you all have downloaded the questionnaire that I've put in the chat. All right. It was a beautiful day in the summer. Sun shining bright, children laughing and playing in the ground, the teachers all sharing their latest stories, and then there's me. Sitting by myself, running short of breath, butterflies in my tummy. It was the day I had to deliver a speech at the school assembly. How many among here have gone through similar experiences? Can I see a raise of hands? <laughs> okay, I see, I see Toastmasters raising their hands. Okay. <laughs> all right. It's, we've all at some point felt this way. Am I right? It's only natural. And we are here today for that very reason, to reduce those butterflies, to be more confident and better versions of ourselves as speakers. In your chat, you find the questionnaire called, where do you stand as a speaker? Now it has eight questions, which we will take on today. Now this is for you to evaluate yourself so that you can monitor your progress and know where you stand as a speaker. In a paper, you can take a, pa a piece of paper or your phone, and I want you to write down yes or no to the questions that, that are being written in that form. Are you all ready? Yes. Can I see? Yes, it? yes. 
don't see Elena, where is the question posted? Uh, do you see the chat box? I put there's a file. If, uh, one of the co hosts could share the screen. No, there is no questions over here. Okay, wait, I will share just a second. There are eight points in that. Um, okay. and there is a PDF link. You have to click the link and open the file. This is the file that you will see. Can you minimize? I mean, not minimize. Can you zoom out? Whoever is sharing. I am sharing. No, there is no file in the chat. Okay, you can see it on the screen now. It's on yeah. your screen. Yes. Okay. So these are the eight questions that we will be discussing today. Can you all see? Yes. You can unmute yourself if you want. So again, this is not a game where there is a winner or there is a loser. So be honest to yourself. This is only for you to see. You do not have to share it with me or anyone. So let's move on to the first question. Do you feel comfortable talking to people? Now this can be during an event, a meeting, or on a phone call during a party, or even while speaking to your colleague at work? Yes or no? Question number two. Do you have trouble explaining your views or ideas? Now, this can be while explaining your thoughts or ideas during a meeting or with your friends or with your family. Have you ever had difficulty explaining your ideas to anyone? Question number three. Do you have nervous habits when you speak? Such as saying, uh, um, okay, and, you know, or just fumbling with your buttons or clothing or jiggling changes in your pocket. I believe all of us have gone through this, so it must be a yes for everyone. <laughs> Question number four. Do you consider your audience's need and interest when preparing a presentation? So this could be moments when you present your ideas and the others don't really understand or they don't relate to what you're saying. Or they end up taking it in a whole different sense altogether. If you have experienced this, go and write yes or no, as you wish. Question number five is, do you plan your presentations with a clear purpose or goal in mind? For example, I'm going to speak about apples today. But somehow, by the end of the presentation, I end up speaking about oranges. So if this has happened to you, go on and write a no. Question number six is, uh, do you appear to be natural and sincere when speaking? There are times where we want to be confident, but then when we're on stage or or presenting ourselves, we end up being another version. So again, you can click yes or no based on that. Question number seven is, do you feel comfortable receiving feedback from others? Now, this is a very important point because a lot of people are not as comfortable with receiving, when it comes to receiving feedback. Now, when someone tells us how to improve ourselves, do we take it in a positive note or are we offended? And the last question, do you offer feedback in a positive way that does not cause others pain or embarrassment? Another important point, when you give feedback to others, make sure that it does not hurt the person. So trust me, by the end of these seven days, you're gonna learn various techniques on how to give a positive feedback. With that, we have completed our questionnaire. Take a look at your results now. If you've got more than four yeses, you know where you stand. But don't worry, we're here to help. Now, during this program, the Speechcraft program, try to make use of every opportunity that you get. Um, we can close the, we can close the, uh, screen, it's fine. Yeah, so, so yeah, 
So during this program, try to make use of every opportunity that you get, because this is a platform that encourages rather than it encourages you to make mistakes and then it applauds you for it. Because this is where, because this, this is a platform where we learn best from the mistakes that you make. So take up this opportunity and become the speaker you've always dreamed to be. Butterflies or not, do you agree? And back to you, speechcrafter, coordinator. How was it? I think this is amazing. Just introduce everyone to the art of applauding. Here in Toastmasters, yes. we are really into the the act of applauding anyone who speaks and comes in front. So let's give a round of applause for Toastmaster Elena today. Thank you so much, Elena. Thank you so much, Elena. I could not see the audience, so I hope everyone was with me. <laughs> I could only see the screen and the timer, so I hope you all could um, understand whatever I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, back to you. Yes. Okay, thank you, Alina, for such a wonderful presentation. And though being in a Toastmaster from few years, then also I felt, yes, this is the area I need to improve, or this is where I can work. Because Every day is a new learning. We, there, if you think you have, you know everything, then there is no point joining or trying to do. As you all are here, and I'm sure you all want to learn something new and do something new. Isn't it? Yes. 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 Now we all are here to speak and talk. I don't want only we Toastmasters should speak and talk. Or only we should give you lectures where and you keep your drive uh, for your diary. We all want to hear from you. So with this, Toastmaster gives an opportunity to for everyone to talk through table topics. For table topics, I would like to call upon our Toastmaster Farisa, who is always there, someone who is who is there to help us, guide us, motivate us. You just knock the door and she is there. So please welcome with a big round of applause, Toastmaster Farisa. Thank you Toastmaster Varmi and a very good evening to everyone. And do not hesitate uh, to participate. I have very simple questions for you. And let me give you, I mean, tell you briefly what exactly table topics is. I need to share my screen. So can I have the permission for that? So have you guys ever, uh, how many of you love uh, going to these uh, roller coasters and rides like that? Right? Have you guys felt that nervousness when you see the ride and the excitement that you want to go and try it out? And while you try to attempt, you have these butterflies in your stomach. This is exactly how many of us have felt when we try to attempt to, uh, table topics. We feel scared, but at the same time, there's an excitement in it. So you should still go ahead and try it. And um, are we going to time them for this, right, Varmeet? So, Rilwan, can you tell them the timings for the uh, table topics? And then I'll start. Good afternoon, everyone. The timing for the table topics is one to two minutes. Uh, one at one minute, I'll be showing the green card. My screen will be turned into green. Uh, one and a half minute, it will be yellow, and two minutes, it will be red. Mm -hmm. So you'll be given the seconds grace period to wind up your speeches. Thank you, Fariza, back to you. Thank you. Okay, I'm still not able to share my screen. Post disabled. You, you still can't? Uh, no, still can't. Okay, now? 
Yes, thank you. Okay, so here we go. So here is the screen for the table topics. So what exactly is table topics? It's a long standing from Toastmasters tradition. It is intended to help members develop their ability to organize their thoughts quickly and respond to an impromptu question or to a topic which is presented or asked to you. So impromptu is thinking immediately and uh, you know replying to whatever is being asked. So gathering your thoughts. Who, who's gonna be the first one to volunteer? Or I can even show you the question and then you can volunteer, raise hands. Uh, do you want to do that? Should I show you my first question? Let, let's uh, do that. Sorry to interrupt. Here's my first question. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Farisa, if any one of the Toastmasters can do for, yeah. for the first thing so that others know for the first topic. Yeah, definitely. We can do that. Yes. So anybody who wants to volunteer, what are your most what are you most grateful for a very simple thing i think is a blessing that we can't count enough if yeah. you have in your life who wants to go first me Marina. Uh, farzana i can't see you can you tell me who that is farzana uh, yeah farzana Far go ahead so the idea is uh, when you start speaking dilman will start timing you okay uh, good evening everybody i am farzana if uh, if i am asked to tell the if i am asked the question uh, to tell the um, what uh, what i am most grateful for i will say when i wake up if i see my all my limbs my sense organs are um, healthy and good i will be grateful to god I will be very grateful to God. And um, now people uh, think uh, uh, they are in seek, seeking of health and so many things, but they don't know actually what they need. Uh, um, the, having all these uh organs our organs internal organs and external organs healthy and safe that is the most um, greatest wealth we have i think in my opinion okay and that's it ma'am perfect that was too good just in time okay. you just need to keep saying whatever comes to your mind until you see Rilwan's background turning green. The moment it turns green, you can hand it over to me. That, that, that's as oh. simple as that. <laughs> okay. okay. So okay. for the next one, I want the participants to volunteer and then I'll show you the question. So who wants to go next? Anybody? You can unmute Who's and tell your next? name or you can raise your hand. Yeah, raise your hand and the host will uh, let me know because Arif I can't see you. Raised hand. Arif raised hand. Arif, okay. Arif, your question is? Ah, it's raised hand. Okay. Where do you find inspiration? Arif, the question for you is, where do you find inspiration? Over to you. Butterfly started uh, coming out now. <laughs> before the the question it's before. Okay, it's okay. Whatever comes to your mind, just take a deep breath and. So inspiration is a, a, everywhere. If you see uh, my family, my colleagues, uh, animals are, are around. Uh, all those are inspirations. Uh, and how do I define that? Uh, my co colleagues do have various uh, issues with their life, uh, even though they are running it. My family also did, uh, my family did had some issues. They also, the time is running out and uh, running nicely. It's not that they are, they have a depression or something like this, but even though with, even with difficulties, people are uh, moving ar around. Um, they are not uh, leaving uh, their life like we, we see uh, in TVs right now, like Sushant and those things, those stuff. There are too many uh, suicides and those stuff. 
but if you see around uh, excluding those negativity you see those the, everyone as an inspiration living their life very peacefully even they have so many difficulties and all, all the stuff that's it <laughs> thank you well said inspiration is truly everywhere it has to come from within so definitely you will see it everywhere okay who is the next one who is going to attempt the table topic so tarik did hand raise hand come on everyone this is why you're here you're here to okay Parisa, can you admit yourself all right tarik why does my screen get hanged uh, okay sorry okay tarik the question for you is what do you love most about yourself i'll repeat what do you love most about yourself um this okay. is a perfect chance to boost about yourself okay hi everyone so it's about my life like you know when i was schooling so i was so weak in studies so what happened so uh, moving with my friends and everyone i noted that there are more educated friends so by looking at them i <clears throat> i try to you know uh, grab things from them and uh, i started to boost my studies after you know a 10th and 11th 12th rank and then i am alhamdulillah i am being a, i became a chartered accountant so this is what i'm you know i love most about myself because learning things very quickly so i was like i was you know uh, i <clears throat> uh, like uh, i was able to get only 30 you know 30 to 40 marks in accounting then i became chartered accountant you know so this is the most you know uh, looking at others i learn things and i self motivated and uh, so this is what i'm you know most uh, this is the thing i have you know i love about myself and also like being friendly with everyone so is maybe i, I think it's one of a good thing i have like uh, i'm uh, you know i i make friends uh, very good i hopefully so this is one of uh, another good thing about me so that's it wow that was really good this is actually inspirational and i think you're in the perfect uh, team here because this is exactly what we love to do make friends and share our stories that inspires others so well said thank you so okay. much okay now who is coming forward next do i see any hand raise i'll push my uh, simi math math okay 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 please okay okay so the question for you is Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. The question for you is, who do you dream about? I'll repeat. Who do you dream about? Well, I purposely put who do you dream about so that you can go a little crazy if you want to. But if you're not comfortable with that, you can change it to what do you dream about? Who? No, okay. Over to uh, you. <laughs> what? What? What do you dream about? <laughs> better yeah <laughs> it's All a right. good opportunity to that, what do you dream about? explore your dreams simi <laughs> actually my dream is to be a businessman <laughs> but uh, yeah so presently i am working as a chief accountant actually my dream is to make uh, come become as a businessman so uh, after uh, retirement from this kuwait i want to start a business in kerala uh, that's my dream and uh, the main dream <laughs> tell us how you're going to you know what are you planning to do to start up that dream uh, for that we need uh, the savings no for with the <laughs> savings i have to start a business uh, i have some uh, ideas in my mind some business ideas so i think after reaching there i can start that one also uh, student children's education they, uh, they want to give education to the children as they wish that is also a dream uh, to secure their future 
That's so lame. That's great. That's really good. I hope all your wishes do come true. Okay, thank you. And it's a good thing. We should all dream. Yeah. And next time, I think I would like to hear who do you dream about as well. Okay. <laughs> Tanvir has raised her hand. Yeah. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Tanvir, your question yeah. is here. What do you like most about your job? Now, I know you'll say you're a housewife, but that is a very important job which you do. So we would like housewife. to hear about that. What do you like more about your job? Uh, about my job, I can say that uh, I like, uh, I am fond of cooking, first of all, keeping my house pick and span. That is one of my quality, which I can tell you very much concerned about my children, dream about my future, what the next plan will be. Uh, all this uh, comes into my mind and uh, being a housewife, uh, yeah, I'm not uh, anyone. I'm not professional. I can say I just I'm just simply a housewife. So you uh, these uh, this this is all. I can say uh, yeah. I can tell you. If you would be working, my, what kind of a job would you want to do? If you were working, if I was working, so I would like to be a teacher because before marriage. I was teaching in a school in India, but uh, after marriage, I didn't join and I never applied for that. Maybe I'm a little more bothered about my family and all. That can be one reason, but not 100%. I was correct. And I want to devote much time in, uh, in, in their bringing up, bringing up uh, my uh, Teaching in teaching, I was interested, and maybe if I get opportunity, I can still apply for that and go for that. Oh, perfect! Very well said. So, a teacher is somebody who can also be a very good uh, homemaker. And like I said, just because you're a housewife does not make you only a housewife. That is a tough job to do. Ask me; I'm not a good housewife. That's why I choose to work. I cannot be a housewife. Okay, who's the next one? Who's going to take up the next? Kumar Raja as well. Ramiz, why don't you uh, go ahead? Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so who is, who's coming up next? Ramiz, are you next? Yes, yes. So this is your question. How many friends do you have in real life that you talk to regularly? I repeat. How many friends yes. do you have in real life that you talk to regularly? Yeah, there hey. are. Uh, hello, good evening, everyone. I'm Ramis. Uh, yeah. I am having many friends uh, during my entire. Uh, what can we say? In a, from taking from school to uh, postgraduate, uh, all are in my contacts right now, but. Uh, I talk to every some of them. Some of them are contact with us because we have spent very much uh, good, what we say, moments uh, with each others during our hostel life and during uh, living in a city. Uh, there are various moments that we enjoy, and when we call each other, then we remember all those moments. It is almost uh, enjoyable moment, a refreshing moment, which uh, takes back. To us to our hostel life and all and uh, and apart from that uh, there are many friends who uh, who are for the only for the work purpose so we keep in touch with them regarding any work if we have uh, any help uh, we need any help regarding anything so we keep in touch with them yeah that's all all right. That was well said. You are really lucky that you are still in touch with all your friends from childhood. Yeah. I yeah. am not that one lucky person. I have lost many yes. friends. <laughs> okay. Who is next? Okay. Who's going to take the next one? Your question is already here. Was it Kumar Raja? Yeah, yeah ma'am. No problem. 
okay so here's your question where or who do you turn to when you need a good advice i'll repeat where or who do you turn to when you need good advice over to you so is it for me ma'am yes so uh, yeah good evening everybody i'm mr good kumar evening. raja sorry i'm kumar raja uh every time uh, if i need an advice uh, i have a best friend uh, for me um my father my dad and another best friend my classmate is there i will uh, go for uh, an advice uh, with both of them and <clears throat> and also my wife my my wife also gives my uh, good advices uh, to go on so after that my brother my brother is also a good advisor for me uh, in some difficulties so i will uh, give first preference to my father i will every time ask my father uh, i will report to my father to do anything and uh, i ask my father so he advised me very nicely and he guides me well yeah that's it i can say All right, that was well said. Usually, there are mama's boys. Now here is the daddy's boy. No, no, no. Actually, so, my mother. Uh, recently, I lost my mother. Actually, ah, <laughs> uh, uh, my mother is my best friend. Actually, I, I was, I was joking but, about that. But usually, it's like I, that, you know. Sorry, sorry. No, usually it's like that. the boys are more close to their moms yeah, so yeah, it's good that you yeah, have a good group of family yeah, that you can turn to sorry if, if i have time i will uh, give a uh, uh, small uh, explanation means uh, uh, i'm i'm the eldest son in the family so all the elder uh, person means uh, el- elder sons usually elder sons will stick on to their mothers their mothers so likewise my mother also a uh, very best friend for me so she also advises me but uh, whatever uh, i want to do i i give preference to my father to ask her. that's why i told her. told that that that's perfectly great thank you okay let's move on to our next uh, participant who wants to volunteer what is it we i think we are running out of time with this uh, it's better right now uh, amrit also here okay. for his uh, speech okay. right? uh, can we have one more time but only the last one speech crafter is left numa can we have one more only one minute and then we okay. will move on to the next segment. one more okay sure. one. because rest all speech craft crafter spoke so i'm glad yeah okay numa here's the question for you what yeah. made you smile this week i'll repeat what made you smile this week over to you joining the speech craft uh, made me smile this week i think so yeah. <laughs> something there that, that, that answer we expected yeah, because uh, <laughs> yeah i can this can t- take out something uh, which you lack uh, the confidence or uh, rela- related things so i think this is the one no that's it i i'm asking you about the whole week you telling me about today what about the last 4 or 5 no. days uh the day i knew about it so i was having a smile on my face all through the week that's so sweet <laughs> <laughs> that that's so good to know thank you so much nama you hearing that from you brings a smile to our face being the president of this i'm like so happy Yay! People are feeling happy just thinking about Sims Club. Uh, yeah, same here. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you so much, everyone. You guys were such great sport, and I hope you guys continue to volunteer and participate with this kind of enthusiasm. All the best. Over to you, Varmi. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, Farisa, for such lovely topics and such amazing. Where. it i went back to my own things and yes i 
where I smiled, where I go for my advice, I was connected to throughout. Thank you so much. Now I won't take lots of time. Now, after practicing, after being we spoke, now let us go on to some training or some learning session. Now we have a passionate toast master who is always there to help Toastmaster Hanan Halush who is here to talk about to discuss about on the importance of good public speaking what is the importance of good public speaking she is going to tell us so I will not take lots of time over to you Toastmaster Hanush. Hanan Halush Thank you. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Vermeer, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to share uh, the benefit of uh, being a member uh, with Toastmasters uh, for the past three years. I hope I'm going to enrich uh, the audience and hopefully I can make an impact with them. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Have you ever Good been evening. afraid of speaking up? I'm talking about standing up for yourself. It may be fear of conflict, fear of rejection, or even embarrassment. What's holding you back? Speaking in front of others is a very common phobia. In fact, it is, fa it is number one fear. Many people would prefer to do almost anything instead of standing up and talking in front of a crowd. Delivering a speech can feel intimidating and risky. So don't worry, you are not alone. Fears and insecurities tend to multiply as the speech draws closer. What if I forgot my speech? What if I cannot answer the audience questions? What if my ideas are, and opinions are not creative enough? Public speaking is a way of showing yourself first with practice that you can do the things that scares you the most. What starts out as a nightmare can turn into a personal boost. Good public speaking skills is so important that it could be the deciding factor in many things, such as your career development, your business growth, and even in the relationships you have with your family and friends. Public speaking is a skill worth learning. Public sp speaking skills has improved my communication skills with my family, with my colleagues, and with my subordinates. It also improved my mental health, and now I'm enjoying my life more. Let me share with you the top benefits of good public speaking that enriched my life and helped me develop career-wise and personal-wise, and I experience them myself. I hope they, these benefits will encourage you to get out of your comfort zone and make your voice heard. Public speaking significantly boosted my confidence. Good public speaking skills empowered me to overcome my fears and insecurities. Connecting with others, reminded me that I have valuable insights and opinions to share with the world. Your confidence levels will grow up to a high level when you shift from speaking to small cr a small crowd to a large audience. This will benefit you in everyday life, whether you are in a meeting or in your personal life. The nervousness that accompanies speaking in front of a crowd will always be there, but when you become a very good public speaker, you learn how to deal with that nervousness. When I write a speech, I think carefully before writing it. Why? Because I need to implement the best framework and persuasive strategy to communicate my message to the audience. The type of thinking, this type of thinking helped me to improve my communication skills in other areas of life. Personal relationships, social interactions, and work situations require you to communicate your ideas to other people. Good public speaking skills focuses on communicating ideas. You can learn to calmly take up an opposing view 
to present your ideas in an organized and coherent manner and to defend your views to others. Public speaking built my critical thinking skills. Writing a speech requires a great deal of careful thought from the audience analysis to the closing sentence. It is not enough to have a message. I had to figure out how to tailor the message that fit the needs of my audience. How can you make your points relevant to, to your listeners? How can you help the audience understand your views? If you start thinking critically about your speaking style, you may find ways to improve your general communication style at home and at work. Public speaking helped me stand out at work. I learned to speak up in meetings, to promote my ideas effectively, to present myself as a professional person. Good public speaking will help you to excel even at job interviews. Effective public speaking skills can help with career advancement as they indicate your creativity, your critical thinking skills, leadership abilities and professionalism, which are valuable qualities you can have in the current job market. After speaking at a few events, people will remember you and begin to see you as an authoritative figure on your area of expertise. Public speaking is a very powerful way to unite people under a common cause and motivate them to take an action it is no secret that people throughout history have used the power of public speaking to make a difference. You'll get a chance to influence, to influence your peers. You won't change the world with every speech, but you can easily impact someone in some small way. If you let others do the talking instead of you, or find it hard to express what you want to say, with good public speaking, that will fade. Not only you will be able to fluently speak your mind, but you'll find yourself doing it for others too. In standing up and speaking in a way that is powerful, you're speaking in a way that will change people's mind about something. If you're able to master that skill, changing hearts and minds and learning how to persuade, you will be already gaining one of the major aspects of leadership. You become curious about timing, when to pause and how long for. You know about vocal variety, how to shift through changes of volume, speech rate and tone. Your articulation will be clearer. As you become more confident, you know about mine, using props and storytelling all of these skills will enhance your speech. Public speaking taught me the effect of words. I choose to express my message and how to use different words and expressions for different audiences. With good public speaking skills, you will no longer use common filler words. You, you hear every day in conversations like, uh, hmm, such kind of filler words indicate that the speaker is not sure or is not confident or he's anxious about whatever he's speaking about. When called upon to say few words at an award ceremony or other special occasions, your heart will not pound. Instead, you'll find yourself graciously accepting opportunity for impromptu speech. When you present, you often need to put forward a well thought out argument in the preparation, in the, prax and in the practice, and on the actual stage. You will learn much about the art of argument, especially if you get to engage with your audience in some form of a question and an answer session. The art of listening is some kind of a lost art, but a good public speaking skills actually will teach you to become a better listener. You will uh, for example, if you had a chance to attend Toastmasters meetings or different conferences, you will hear different events, different types of speeches about wide variety of topics from people who may be very different from you. But this will passively build your listening skills 
ability and note taking. These benefits of public speaking make getting will make you get out of your comfort zone. And if that wouldn't make you feel it is worth to get a speech craft session or maybe join a public speech speaking club like Toastmaster, then what else can make that? Believe me, building your public speaking skills will open many doors for you, as I've listed before. You'll be always nervous, at least at the first few times you speak. However, you'll quickly learn to enjoy the experience of public speaking. Back to you. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Hanan. Such a wonderful speech, and we all are enlightened. Now, with this, we quickly, as we are running out of time, so we, I will quickly move on to Toastmaster, call Toastmaster Faria, our general evaluator, who will be giving an overall evaluation to us. Over to you, Faria. Good evening, everyone. I am the general evaluator, which is one of the roles that we have in every meeting so that we are able to analyze and see that whether the meeting went as well as we had liked and what are the things that can be improved within this meeting. So, of course, this is our first day. We were not able to keep, in keep up with the timings. So this is something that we will be working on for our next meeting, let's all hope that we're all on time next time and we, are, we don't overshoot the timings. After that beautiful session by uh, Toastmaster Hanan and Toastmaster Alina, Alina has shown us a mirror where we stand. You all know whether you are, whether you are at the right place or not. So of course her session has uh, made you known what are the things that you would like to improve upon? And then as Toastmaster Hanan has showed you the entire picture of what we are uh, you know, supposed to be learning from st public speaking. So you now have the complete picture where you are and where you want to be. So that was an incredible session. I think it was completely successful and each of one of us has been encouraged to do everything correctly now. And uh, the best part about this meeting was, of course, the table topic session, wherein I was so glad that each and every one of the speech crafters has themselves volunteered. Especially, I'd like to give a round of applause to Toastmaster for uh, to speech crafter for Zana, who was the first one to volunteer. And so, always, you know, the most nervous part is to step forward and speak 